Hey kids, getting her back for more Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we ended up somewhere. Well, it is better than being put back in jail, but we need to go find out where we're at. I mean, whoa, whoa, this looks pretty bad. Pretty bleak, huh? If you hang out for a second there, the error comes up and it says question mark, because you clearly don't know where you're at. But now we're at the Tran Dome? Well, I guess it's a dome. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. He doesn't know what apparently gold pieces are. Okay, so we need an auto gun. We need three iron suits. And we need three iron helms. Yeah, nothing too much to worry about. You can actually purchase mid tonics now. Uh, I think I'm fine where I'm at on the healing items. But I do want to upgrade my equipments. Helm there. Suit there. Nice, nice, nice boosts all around, pretty much. Get a gun. Eh. Uh, and everything. She needs a new bow, like, for real. Yeah, she didn't have very much in the way of good equipment, so let's... Let's get rid of some of our junk. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Or those. Or that. Or frog weapon. Or that cat. Or the cat. Or that uh, hat there. Or those. Or that. Or that. Or those three. Or, yeah. There's basically no reason to hold on to your old equipment. Because you can't do anything with it. You know, once you're done using it for equipment purposes. What does this guy have to say? Ooh, past lab 16, huh? Oh, that's... That's not good. How are we going to get there? True. Okay, I don't know what truce is. But this is Tran. Aw. Not really. <laughs> okay, apparently they don't know what the kingdom is. Oh, alright, well. You want to rest in the Endertron? Yes, this is where the famous meme came from. But you're still hungry. Uh, so if I ever say that in any other LP, that is why. And uh, this also has one of those sealed doors, huh? Well, let's get the crap. Let's like, figure out how to get out of there. Dude, come. Why am I stuck? Ugh. Oh, this is that thing. Oh, you son of a. Don't tell me I can't go down there, you jerk. Um, I'm gonna try to fix this and I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, that was a giant pain in the ass right there. That's what that was. I had to set the down and to the right thing to be something so I could actually go down to the right at the same time because for some reason the analog stick on this controller decided it didn't want me to do that. Uh, now we're in lab 16. There's this rat there and if you touch him he will steal a tonic from you. It's kind of a pain in the ass but... Uh, now there's some octopods and a meat eater. Kill the meat eater first. Kill it. Must kill it. Must murder. Don't let it live, because it will heal everybody. Thank you. Now the whole thing about not reacting to guns and swords, um, that's kind of a misnomer, because most enemies in here will. Uh, what he was trying to say is that there will be enemies here that you will have a problem attacking physically, and since at this point in the game we don't have anything else to do with... You know, we don't have anything else, other kind of tools, except our limited tech amounts to actually deal with that. Oh, that's right. Who, who actually has text to learn? Oh, that's right, Sarah. How oh, close? Oh, 29? Not bad. Gotta try to avoid this rat here. And of course I stop because I hit the wall, apparently. And we get a Berserker, which I believe doubles your hit percentage. What leaves you in a Berserk status? I don't know. Let me check that out in a second here. Um, yeah. Basically, he adds the Berserk status. It auto-attacks. Might as well take on this enemy here. There's just three of these little crater things and the Man-Eater. Again, kill. Clearly did not select the right target there. Alright, you can kill that guy, I guess. Oof. 
before he gets all uppity and starts attacking. Alright, there we go. Ah, yeah, now we're settled. 38, come on, you can do more than that. 33, are you serious? I should be able to just do 80 on my own. 73, come on, game. I think these uh, have a ability to erupt if you attack them while they're close enough to you, but they weren't actually getting close enough to me. So they are giving me others like a fiend, which is nice. I gotta try to... Of course he stopped, right? Jerk. Uh, try to try the chest, and I got into another fight with some more... Octopi... Hey, stop sucking on her head. My job. Wait, what? No. 74? <laughs> that's, that's not fair, game. That's just being mean. Alright, well, that's out of the way there. Nothing too much to worry about. We haven't come to any of the difficult enemies yet. And yes, there will be difficult enemies here. Few and far between, but they're here. I like this area because it, you know, it forces a little bit of strategy involved where you have to experiment with, you know, the moves you have and worry about, go oh, can, you know, I do this, can I do that? We get a load sword, which I think I was already using. So if you miss the one in the, uh, the jail, there's one for you right there. Thankfully, I avoided that rat, but not that one. So we get a load bow, which is finally an upgrade for uh, Sarah here. Nice big upgrade, too. Man, she could use it. Um, now, to I think, avoid them, you have to walk around. Well, I apparently didn't go far enough down, but you have to walk around that sewer grate. Alright. If you slash attack, you can go and get both of them at the same time, which is pretty nice. I think it should kill the guy. No, it didn't. Oh, you jerk! That was a waste of move, then. Just a waste of AP. So, thank you, Sarah, for healing or hitting the right guy. Eh, I didn't think that was gonna work. Still can't kill them. Ugh. Not working. Got it. All right, there we go. And now we have these. Remember the bats in Final Fantasy IV, where like they have ridiculously overly long animations that do no real damage, but just annoy you because if there's more than one of them, it means they're taking forever until I kill them with a critical hit. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that battle is avoidable if you go, uh, you know, down below that sewer, this manhole cover here. Uh, this battle is also avoidable if you don't, like, touch any of them, like the mushrooms from before, but I'm going to fight them because, you know, this is a very easy battle with a ton of experience because of this. Oh, I can only hit four. What ah That should kill all four of them, yeah. And then the two of them... I was hoping the two of them would be able to get rid of that guy, but they left them 6 HP short. Yeah, there's his uh, thunder move, or his uh, erupt move. I it's like thunder. But yeah, there we go. End of story. 75 experience and 5 tech points for basically very little work. So, you know, you might want to consider fighting at least that one. And thankfully I got away from uh, that rat. Ah, here we go. This is one of the uh, first things you realize that things are not always what they seem, because if you attack this... I'll show you in a second here. Actually, no, I'll show you with Sarah, who can't do nothing. Now, see, that slash attack killed two of them. As you can see, they only have one HP. But obviously, they will dodge every single physical attack you throw at them. So you have to use, you know, Flame Toss or uh, Slash, which is considered magic damage as opposed to physical damage. Uh, I want to avoid that thing for right now. There's a treasure chest over here that I would like to get. If I can. And it's just an either. 
Yeah, let me come out of here and there's just more of these little things that come out of the sewer. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, if you have some other ways of dealing magic damage, it'll work, but I don't. So it's just flame toss and slash. That was the thing. It, it Actually, you come to this part and you realize that if you burned all of your MP, you know, just randomly, willy-nilly throwing it around, you got to this part and you're like, oh crap, I'm screwed. Because there's no run command in this game, I don't think. At least I don't remember them. There's no, I don't think there's a, is there a run, no, I'm pretty sure there isn't a run feature. And then we just have another one of these things, they come out of the freaking fire hydrant. Alright, see if I can get all of them, yes, oh, I almost did. So yeah, you're gonna run across enemies like this it, several times in the future, sometimes they just have high physical defense, and sometimes they'll avoid every single attack you throw at them. Cool thing is, is it avoided that guy right there. Now you see, there's another one of those guys standing right there. Now if you run on the outside of this little fire hydrant there, you can, you'll get in a fight with him. If you run on the inside, though, you avoid him. But I want to fight him to show him off, so... There, it's a mutant. 300 HP, very, you know, much stronger in health-wise than uh, everything you've faced here so far, but not really, you know, stronger, you know, any other way than that, you know. doesn't do any more real damage than anything else, except it has the ability to regenerate itself by stealing your health, as you just saw there. Alright, 36 HP. Wow, game. One. Oh, and the critical. Now I get the critical, right? Uh, yeah, they're, again, not really worth killing. 22 experience, one tech point. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no. And now we're on the other side of Lab 16, and back into the overworld. And we have this other dome here. This is the Aris Dome. Looks just as bleak and sad as the other place, but... Ugh. Gotta be some people here, right? Hello! Oh, there's somebody. Hey, people! We're... Social activity! Hi. Um, my name's Mark. Uh, we came from... Yeah, from the laboratory to the west. Yeah. Yay! We crossed the ruins. And they're apparently happy about that. Yeah. They weren't all that hard, really. Oh. Okay, so her father... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't bode well. Oh, okay. Lunatic robots, remember that? Oh. Huge computer and storage center for food, huh? Huh. Well, it sounds like that's where we need to go. Yeah, there's no point. You can go there. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you could get, like, a cool weapon ahead of time, but I don't need it, so I'm not gonna do that. You're not meant to go there now. No, I noticed. Well, I didn't notice, but that's your hint that some, you have to open those doors in a certain way, or not at all. And we're still hungry. Yeah. Amazing how these people haven't starved yet. And there's this one little girl over here. Yeah, I got money. <laughs> Well, thanks for... And she sells the same stuff that the guy pretty much over there does. You know, sell this load sword for cool 2,000 gold. And her bow. Yeah. Well, he apparently got there, because that was the same guy we talked to before. But, you know, there's a cool... There's a computer downstairs, and, you know, there's some food. Maybe we can help these people out by going to go search for it. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Until then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.